combination that does. Well, it's time to chat to the doc. Uh, he's going a little off topic today. Must have had a bad week. We'll chat to him about a new initiative from Neutrog. Oh, I heard about this during the week. Using coffee grounds. G'day, Yui. Yeah, good, Graham. Uh, good morning, Graham. Yeah, it's pretty exciting bit of news there. We have been uh, kicking the idea of using uh, spent coffee grounds around Neutrog for a while, and we've finally got this uh, project off the ground. And, you know, the question is, why is this important? Well, in Australia, approximately 6 billion cups of coffee are drunk every year, so that's a, a lot of coffee ground, and a lot of that goes to to landfill as waste. So Neutrog have actually teamed up with Food Bank and one of the big petrol retailers who serve a lot of coffee to recover this resource and make a useful product. Uh, it's going to be a fertiliser called Human Beans, and the proceeds will all go back to Food Bank uh, to help feed people in need. Well, it's a great idea. I did hear this because, you know, we can only take so many, uh, you know, grounds uh, from the local coffee shop and put in the compost heap. But when you look at the, the volume, you can, you know, it's, it's a nightmare uh, that's going to, to, to waste. It's a great initiative. And the use of coffee grounds in gardens has been around for quite a while, Yui. Well, that's right. And my parents used to have a friend of penny probably 40 years ago, and it was always given the coffee ground. So, and it was a, a pretty happy plant, so I'm assuming the coffee had something to do with it. But there's, you know, there's evidence which does suggest that coffee grounds do stimulate plants. However, it seems to be limited to composted material. So fresh grounds have been shown in some cases to inhibit the plant growth. So it's only after composting that the coffee grounds release their full potential for plant growth. And therefore, the material collector will come into Neutrog. It'll be composted, which breaks down those inhibitory compounds. And the compost will then be made into pellets and sold back as a fertiliser to actually the same people who have their coffee in the morning. So it's a, it's a cyclical system. Brilliant. So what are some of the benefits of, of coffee for plants, Huey? Well, we know from your bee stories that the bees are attracted and go crazy for uh, plants that produce po- coffee and pollinate them. And there's also reports that there's lots of humic compounds in coffee. So that helps hold on to nutrients in the soil. On top of this, there's suggestions that coffee grounds may reduce nematode numbers by inhibiting their egg-laying capacity and also other reports that indicate that coffee grounds inhibit the growth of pathogenic fungi while at the same time encouraging the proliferation of beneficial fungi such as trichoderma. So, you know, and people would have heard about the idea that coffee grounds stop snails and slugs. So there are many reports of benefits, some of which are likely to be true and others potentially a myth. And this is really where I come into the equation. It's going to be my job to sort fact from fiction. So I'll be testing human beings for these potential benefits. So I already have a range of pathogens in the lab to test against and also some nematodes. So we'll look at the effectiveness of these coffee grounds for these benefits. And then just as importantly, we'll determine whether it actually works at a level that you might apply human beings in your garden. But you know, in the end, above all, Every kilo of human beings sold will allow Food Bank to provide about five meals. Brilliant. It's, it's just such a great story, and it's a great company. That's why uh, we stick with them uh, and, and commenting on, on the research. It's just fantastic. That's why uh, some story, uh, a load of work for you and the others uh, at the uh, team at Neutrog. Now, if you want to follow uh, this development, uh, which is really exciting, uh, you might have heard the interview we did a, a couple of weeks ago now about bees going uh, nuts with Macquarie Uni, uh, did some uh, uh, follow-up research. Uh, you can also uh, subscribe to the Neutrog newsletter via their website, nuketrog.com.au. So get the newsletter, uh, I do, and it's got a lot of information uh, research for home gardeners, research for farmers and fruit tree growers. Everybody's there. Human beings, you never know where it could end up. It's a brilliant one. Yuri, thank you very much for your time this morning and for that great story. Not a problem, Graham. Have a fantastic week. Yeah, yeah. human beings. Keep an eye out for it. We'll give you more details as Yuri gets into the lab and works at, uh, to absolute frenzy. Traffic.